question on Friday was if 20 milliliters of sulfuric acid is neutralized with 47.72 milliliters of potassium hydroxide and the potassium hydroxide has a concentration of 0.25 molarity then what is the acid concentration? I need you to pay attention here Robbie okay Jasmine sit up please Forrest, wake up. Okay, you need to be taking notes on this. If you don't, if you turn this in, then you need to copy down the solution that I give you. If you didn't turn it in, you need to copy down the answer anyway. You need to know how to do this. With lots of water, you can put it down the sink. All right. What is the rule for the chemical you always start with? Yes, Alec? Okay, the one you know a starting amount for and the concentration. Okay? And what we know about the starting amount and the concentration is potassium hydroxide. So we have to start with 47.72 milliliters of potassium hydroxide solution. Okay. What, what were you asking me? I don't have any tissue in here. You can go get paper towel back here. If you want. Put it in that thing. No, give it to me. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, to get to get to moles. To get to moles, because you always have to get to moles to go from one species to another, we're going to use the concentration. You need to know that when you have 0 0.25 molarity or molar concentration of KOH solution, that that is the same thing as 0 0.25 moles of KOH over one liter of solution. And actually it's KOH solution. Okay. So we're going to put the zero now you can you could go ahead and change this to liters if you wanted to, because you have to start with liters. Because this is in liters. <coughs> okay. So let's see. The equality statement you need then is that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Now all these things you have to have on your paper. You have to show me the work. Okay? So we're going to put, I'm going to put a thousand milliliters here and one liter here. Now I could go ahead and do the math. Alright, a lot of you do that, so let's go ahead and do it that way and I believe you're going to get 0 0.04727 liters of KOH solution. Okay? I don't have to round it off because that's the correct number of significant digits. I do have to uh, um, cancel the units. Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> now that I've got the liters of solution, 0 0.04727 KOH solution, I can use the concentration to get the moles, where I put one liter of KOH solution on the bottom <clears throat> and 0 0.25 moles of KOH on the top. So we're going to multiply this number times this number. And 
we get zero point zero one one eight one seven five and looks like I need two significant digits <clears throat> leading zeros are not significant so we're going to underline starting with the eight these two digits are, digits are significant and these four are not draw an arrow we round it off to 0 0.012 <coughs> Leaders cancel, KOH solution cancels, so we have moles of KOH now. <clears throat> so that can become a new starting amount now. Zero point zero one two moles of KOH. Okay, over one. Now I have to go from moles of this to moles of the other species. So what do I need for that? Molar Not molar mass. Not a molar ratio. And where do you get a molar ratio from? Formula. Balanced equation. Okay, so we got we're we're using KOH and H two SO four. Yeah, that's H2SO4. It's kind of sloppy, but that's what it is. They're both aqueous. You're lost. Where did you get lost? Okay. Well, we've been building up to this all semester, so I'm, I'll, I'll try to catch you up if I can. If you can tell me right now what you want me to review or what you want me, to, what questions you have about this. Uh huh. <coughs> okay. All right. All right. So then, the products we're going to make then. Remember, subscripts like this two here do not travel. Subscripts like the four do travel. Yes, because this four is part of a polyatomic ion. Okay. So we're going to take and put the front part of this. With the back part of this, we're going to put K with SO4. But we still have to balance that, that formula. This is just putting them together right now. We had not figured out how many of each we need. And then we're going to put the front part of this, which is just the H, without the subscript 2, because it doesn't travel. We're going to put the H with the OH. Okay. <clears throat> now we need to make sure we balance the formulas. Well, at this point in the semester, I hope you already recognize that's balanced. Hydrogen is 1 plus, OH is 1 negative, it makes water, you should know that's balanced. And we're going to call that liquid because there's no uh, significant amount of heat to turn it into steam. Alright, we have to balance this one. Okay, K plus is the charge. You find that from your periodic table with oxidation numbers. Okay, if you don't have that, James, is there a reason why you're not in your assigned seat? Yeah, wow. You can't make without asking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back up here, please. Yeah. 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 All right. So K plus, find it on your periodic table with the oxidation numbers. The SO4, where do you find that? Common ions list, that's SO4, sulfate. two negative, yes, sulfate, good, we've used that a lot. Okay, so how many of each of these do I need? I need two potassiums, all right, if you don't know how that works, we put a one plus here, plus a two negative here, and we figure out what coefficients need to go in front to get this whole thing to equal zero. And so we do need two, two of these and one of these. All right, and the result then is going from here down here. So we're going from here to here here to make this work out. Then we're going to have K. When we make a formula, we put it together in a bonded arrangement then that coefficient 2 becomes a subscript 2 to show that it's bonded to 
this sulfate ion. So it's K2SO4. Now we're going to write an atom inventory. K, O, H, and S. Okay, and we're going to balance the equation using this atom inventory. Alright, so I have one K here. I have five O's. One here and five here. I mean four here, so a total of five oxygens. I have one hydrogen and two hydrogens. That makes three. And then I have one sulfur over on this side. I've got two potassiums. Uh, I've got four oxygens and one. That makes five. I've got two hydrogens there. And I've got one sulfur. Okay, so the only thing right now we have to work on, because we always save oxygen for last. It's balanced anyway. Hydrogen for next to last, so we're going to start with potassium. So let's put a two here, and that will give us two potassiums but it increases the number of oxygens. Now I have two oxygens here and four here. That makes six. And I increase the number of hydrogens. I've got two hydrogens here and two here for four. All right. So now the potassium and the sulfur are balanced, and oxygen's always saved for last, so we want to balance the hydrogen. If I've got four on this side and two on this side, I put a two here to get four hydrogens. And it also increases the number of oxygens by one, so that's 2 times 1 is 2, plus this 4, I've got 6 oxygens, and the equation is balanced. Now, from the balanced equation, I can write this molar ratio. I want to put moles of KOH on the bottom. And up here, I've got 2 moles in the equation. 2 moles of KOH in the equation. And we're trying to find the, the uh, concentration of the acid. That's this. So I want to put that on the top. And we got one of those. 1 mole of H2SO4. And so we get 0 0.006 on your calculator. Okay? Let's see how that works. Let's see, 0 0.12. Divided by 2. And that's what I get on the calculator. However, when you look at this, you need to look and see these are counting numbers, so we don't use those when figuring out significant digits. We only use calculated and measured numbers. And this is a calculated number. We just calculated it. Okay? So we need to have the same number of digits in this answer as we have right here. And in this uh, calculated number, I have two significant digits. Leading zeros are not. All non-zero digits are. So I need two significant digits here. And the way we make that happen is to put an extra digit there. Okay, because le while leading zeros are not significant, zeros that follow both a non-zero digit and a decimal place are. So now we have, let's see, moles are going to cancel out top and bottom. KOH cancels out top and bottom. So now we have moles of H2SO4. Okay, that's our new starting amount. 0 0.0060 moles of H2SO4. Okay. So we're trying to find the concentration. Okay. And the concentration we're working with here is molar. We started out with molar. Uh, let's see, right there, which we wrote, rewrote in this fashion. But we started out with 0.25 molar. So we want our final answer to be in molar. So we need the volume to be on the bottom of this. Okay. And the volume I gave you of that acid was 20.00 milliliters. Okay? 20.00 milliliters. Well, that's not going to work out for us because we need to be in liters. Okay? So I, can, I need to change this into liters before I put it down here. But you can do it in two steps or one step. Okay? We could just take there's our relationship right there we need. There's our equality statement we need for this. If I put 1,000 milliliters on the top here and one liter on the bottom here, that will get us to that number we need. Okay? Huh? I couldn't hear what you said. No, that's molality. That we were trying to find our answer in concentration in molarity. Okay? Molality is a concentration unit, but it's not the one we need. Okay, so I could do it like that, or 
I could simply take my 20.00 milliliters of H2SO4 solution, put it over one, and use a thousand milliliters on the bottom here, and one liter on the top here, and find the answer in liters, and then put that on the bottom of this. I don't need this step here. Okay? Either way is fine. But some kind of way, reasonably mathematical way, you have to get this bottom number it has to be in liters. Okay? It doesn't matter which one, which method you use. Okay? Does anybody, everybody prefer A or B? If you want A, raise your hand. If you want to use B, raise your hand. Now, I only see a couple of hands go up either way, so. All right. So I'm going to take the top two numbers and multiply them together. 0 0.0060. Okay. Let's move that up so you can kind of see what I'm doing here on the calculator. 0 0.00. Okay. Times 1,000. Hit enter. And I'm going to divide by that 20. And I get 0.3. Okay, but how many significant digits do I need? How many significant Seven. digits do I need? <clears throat> Two digits. Okay, and that's moles H2SO4 over liters H2SO4 solution. Okay, now that's a kind of a big complex fraction that we could simply write as 0 0.30 molar H2SO4 solution. Okay? And although it's not required, either one of these answers is correct, this is actually preferred. Okay? All right. Let's see. I could do this one, 0 0.020000 liters H2SO4 solution. So this is the, one, the, the method B here. And so now we take this number here, 0 0.0060 moles H2SO4, and put it over that number, 0 0.02000 liters H2SO4 solution. 0 0.0060 divided by 0 0.02000 and I got the same answer. All right, so either solution is correct. It's fine. There's a lot of different you can you can directions you can take in the math and still be accurate. Okay, if you know what you're doing, instead of doing one, two, three, four, or five steps here, you can do it all as one long step. If you really know what you're doing. Okay. So if if you do it in one step and it's correct, that's fine. You still have to have a balanced equation. You still have to have balanced formulas. So those are required, but um, you don't necessarily have to do five steps or four steps to solve this part. You could do it as just one long calculation. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right.
All right. Let's talk a minute about classification of solutions or, or mixtures. 